Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a mapping video. So first of all you need an idea. Usually what I do is go on my Discord server, link down below, and then I go to Anish Mapping Community and find Ideas Channel. And here you have a lot of ideas that you can take for your videos. So uh, we're gonna start. What percentage of people in the countries have cats? Percentage of people. We're gonna take this one. Does your country have nuclear weapon? Twist that. So we have our idea. Next, what we're gonna do is uh, search which country. Uh, have a nuclear weapon. So we're gonna only do that on the Europe map, not uh, world map, because uh, it's better. So, which country in Europe have nuclear weapons? We go to image and find a pretty good map. Oh, this Wikipedia page seems good. Okay, yeah, nice. So we are gonna lo only look at Europe. States formerly possessing nuclear. Okay, so they were owning weapon, but they, uh, okay. NATO or CSTO members, nuclear weapon sharing, state Belgium, Italy, Netherlands, Turkey, and Belarus. Okay, so let's open up Ibis Paint my gallery let's create a brand new uh, project let's import a map so you can have europe maps uh, right here so we have the you have the members and me posting uh, a lot of maps with uh, special mapping packs so i think the europe map is yes right here so you click on open up in navigator right click uh, download file. Next, you go to your folder and save it. I go to my documents, mapping, and take my map. Open. Okay, so now what I will first do is uh, put the background to that one, the transparent one, so I can look uh, and see because if I do like that, you know, it's only white and I can't know if that's the color or the background. So you can choose either this one or this one. I prefer this one because it's better for my eyes, but whatever. So you select the bucket. You do whatever color code you want. Uh, I personally use red as uh, no and uh, green as yes. And you can choose uh, the color you want to specific things like uh, NATO or CSTO members. Uh, it's up to you. So uh, I will do red first because it's the simplest. Like that. So doesn't have. I'm gonna speed up this part because it's uh, not really interesting. Okay, perfect. So we have our map. It's colored. Now let's improve it. So because uh, it's a pretty good map, good quality, but you need some effects so it can look better. First, what we're going to do is click on this button to show the frames, the layers. Next, you're going to duplicate this layer. Select the bottom one, go to filter and select so you have all, go to blur and select the second one, Gaussian blur. You click on it and then you put whatever amount you, you want. I usually put 37, but you can put, uh, I don't know, 10, 8, 7, but I usually recommend 30 to 40. Press the check, close this menu. So now you, you can see that we have 
some shininess on the edge, which uh, improves a bit our map, but it's not finished. What you're gonna do is go on my Discord server and download one of these texture. What is texture? Texture is something that you can use on your map to improve the quality, to give more details. Let me just load up this image. But when you add texture, you can see that you have a lot more details on the colors and the overall map is improved. So to do that, you have five texture that I made. If you want, you can use them, but uh, you can also make your own. To make your own, it's really simple. You go new tab, you search rocky texture like that. You try to select one which has a pretty good quality. You rename it as like, I don't know, texture, desktop, uh, save. Okay, now that you have your map, you can, if you want to use my uh, texture, you can uh, skip this part, but I'm gonna show you how to put. So exit, open up a new uh, folder and choose this map. So you open up this tab, click on the, this icon and choose your texture right here and make it bigger so it can cover the whole map. Check and put it right under your map so you can have the outline of the map being upper the texture. What you do is click on the bucket icon, select the eraser bucket and go to the settings. Here you have expansion. You will uh, normally it's at 0 0.5, but what you do is slightly increase it until it's like uh, five or six. I recommend five because six is maybe a bit too effective. Five is pretty good. You close this menu and then you start clicking around like this. You will start seeing the texture disappear like that. And you do that uh, all the way up. You click on the ocean right here. Don't forget any uh, bit of land. Once you're finished, you can open up this tab again and click on the little eye icon right here. And boom, you have your map. So now what you can do is click on the hour right here, save image, okay. And then rename it like, I don't know, yellowish, yellowish texture. Okay, so now we can be back to our project. Click right here edit. Now that you're back, you're gonna open this tab, go to the, this icon and select your texture. As you can see, it perfectly fits on the map because uh, it takes the outline. Okay, perfect. Now that you have the texture, what you're gonna do is click again on this icon. Select the upper map and decrease to about 90 the uh, transparent and as you can see you can see uh, that you have some difference on the colors some are slightly uh, brighter some are slightly darker and you can decrease all the way like that if you want to see more details but it start to become kind of ugly and you don't see the border so I recommend about 85 to 90. Okay, now that we have our Gaussian blur, our texture, our map is finished. What you can do is add uh, some text like, uh, I don't know, uh, owned by NATO, something like that. And you put the text right here. Or what you can do is make a legend, just like what you and do like a, I don't know square. Let me just get my brush. 
and you can start adding little squares like that I don't know uh, let me just two cubes like that select the color of that one fill it up put your text and say like no in uppercase that and you understand what I mean like uh, you can put no green uh, dark green is owned by NATO or CTO and formerly had nuclear bombs you can do whatever you want uh, I will uh, leave it like that because uh, I think you can understand if you know the subject like that okay so what you do when you have finished your legend your coloring your Gaussian blur and your texture is that you can export the map save image okay so now we have finished with uh, the EB Spain part. Now we are gonna attack the uh, editing part. So open up any video editor. I personally use CapCut, but you can do on uh, Premiere Pro, on uh, After Effects, on uh, I don't know, Alight Motion. It's like you want. Okay, so you create a new project right here. Okay, perfect. So, how CapCut works is that you have your timeline right here, you have your objects right here, you have the text, and you have details about your object. So, first, import your map. You bring it, and what you do is you go on this website called petsales.com. Like that so you have video uh, at, uh, home and uh, like this thing you go to video and then you select whatever video you want open okay so first you take your video and put it right here now you are going to with your mouse to click before 10 seconds like here okay now you click on this button delete right click like that and then you have now cut your video to uh, nine seconds now uh, we don't want this sound when we play our video we want our uh, own audio so go to audio right here and click on volume and scroll all the way down to minus infinite decibels and now we don't have any sounds as you can see perfect now you can bring your map you scroll and put it right here increase the length to the length of the video we have and that's it you can adjust the map, the map like you want middle bit under, bit upper. I recommend to put it a bit under the middle so you can uh, see the map and have the title right here. So you can put full screen right here and see what your video looks like for now. So you have your map and your background. Okay, now we want our title. So we go here, select text, then you have Add text. You click on the little plus add icon and click. Now we have a text. You expand the text all the way up till the end of your video. So every element of your video matches up. You go here and write the title. So the title for us is um, Does your country have nuclear weapons? You can uh, click on shift uh, space, shift enter to put your text uh, under this one, S make it smaller and adjust the position. Right here seems pretty good. Now we're gonna choose a font. So uh, I have a font that I use a lot, which is named Burk Bang. Condensed. You can find it uh, on uh, some sites. D 
this one. So you select your font, adjust the size if needed, and then we can uh, add some stroke. So you click on the first one right here and scroll a bit till you find thickness. Uh, I usually put thickness to around 20, but you can do however you want. Keep scrolling till you find shadow. Click on shadow and then decrease a bit opacity to around 60. And then you have it, a pretty good title uh, for your video. Now you can add color if you want. So to add color, you select the word you want to add the color on, like that. And you have this little icon named color. You click on it and then choose what, which color you want to add. I'll do green and uh, yellow on this one. So now my title is colored. Okay, next step is uh, to add uh, your uh, audio. So go to import section, click on import, and then select the audio you want. So for the audio, uh, I'll choose this one. You scroll and put it right under your video. So first you're gonna cut with this little button your song because you don't want your video to make uh, 1 minute and 10 seconds you want it to make 9 seconds so click on this icon like that and then your audio is now cut you can uh, change the volume I recommend to put it a bit under the 0 decibel like uh, 7 or 5 and then you can watch your video so for now, it's like that. But you can add uh, something to improve it. First, what I have is a watermark. What is a watermark? It is something that I put on my videos so I don't get stole my content. So like that, you increase the length to the length of the video and then adjust the size. I uh, prefer to put it right here, you know, like a little uh, icon. And I go here, you have your uh, menu, and choose blend section. You have a little arrow right here, click on it, and you have mode. Uh, you click on default and put overlay, like that. And now your watermark is increased with your video. Okay. Uh, now that we have done that, we can add a subscriber counter. So plus icon, expand the text uh, on the text menu, remove this text and uh, write this, help me to reach. And then you put uh, your goal. My goal is 11,000 subscribers with 11K. You go under and write uh, how many subscribers you have. So I have 10,000.3k. You slash and write your objective, 11k. Now you do the same that we did for the title. Choose Borkbang Condescent Black. Scroll, choose Stroke. Put it to however you want. So mine is 20 and add some shadow with decreasing the opacity to 60. Now you can use this little uh, icon. What this icon does is that you can zoom on what you are doing. If you do it like that, the zooms, like that, zooms. So I recommend to zoom like to the middle of the arrow and then you can scale up. So I usually Put it right here, we scroll a bit more. And with this uh, menu, you can, uh, you know, move around on your project. Uh, I have a little YouTube icon that I can uh, give you guys. This is this one, open. Uh, you drag it 
put it under the text so it can appear uh, right under the text you shape it like you want move it around and I prefer to put it here but you can put it here here it's up to you okay you don't forget to increase the length of your image to nine seconds like the video and uh, I think that's it we have everything for our video you have our title our uh, little help me to reach and our watermark our map our song and our background we can watch our video <laughs> Okay, so you can click on export, click uh, on the resolution you want, so mine is 1080p, but I don't recommend choosing 2K, 4K and 8K, bitrate uh, recommended is good, correct don't change that, format mp4, and frame rate is 30fps uh, for me, but 60fps works too but just makes the video weigh a lot so 30 fps is good uh, leave that like that export the video and that's it you can open your folder access your video and then you can just publish it on your youtube channel and that's it for the tutorial guys hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to like share and subscribe have a great day